the Honorable Raymond W. Kelly. Well, good evening. Welcome to the police headquarters and congratulations to all of our Citizen Police Academy graduates on this, the 20th anniversary of the Citizen Police Academy. We started this program 20 years ago as a way to provide members of the public with a realistic, up-close look at police work. Back then, the first class were just 50 people. Today, we have 212 graduates. Our biggest so thank you, thank you for your participation. I want to congratulate the staff and the instructors at the Citizen Police Academy on two decades of outstanding service to our city. Among them, now among them is Sergeant Wade Martin, the first sergeant in charge of the Citizen Police Academy who joins us this evening. Sergeant Martin, is he here? Well, he wants to be here, I know. Where is he? There he is, way in the back. Thank you very much, Sergeant Bart. I want to also recognize the thousands of men and women who have taken the time to learn more about their police department and how it works. In the years since the first graduating class, New York has become the safest big city in America, and in many ways a model for urban policing. Along the way, this program has endured and flourished because of the enthusiasm, the curiosity, and the commitment that you, our volunteer participants, bring to the experience. One of the Academy's strengths has been its ability to attract people from all walks of life with strong ties to their community. Among the members of this class are members of the clergy, teachers, nurses, bankers, students, citizens who serve on their precinct community councils and residence associations, investigators from the Civilian Complaint Review Board, insurance agents, attorneys, and many retired from city service. Each of them was drawn to the Citizen Police Academy for different reasons. And you brought your own expectations, your own questions. Maybe you wanted to gain a better understanding of the department's role in your community. Maybe you heard discussions about the police in the news and you wanted to find out the truth behind the story. Maybe you were upset with the police because of an encounter that didn't go the way you thought it should. And so you came. You kept an open mind. And you learned from our instructors. And I want to take this opportunity again to thank the instructors and administrators of the Citizen Police Academy for terrific work over the last 14 weeks. So why don't you stand and give them a round of applause. They've helped educate, educate you on some of the challenges and the complexities of police work, the criminal justice system, and the U.S. Constitution. Hopefully, through their presentations and through your participation in role plays, you have some fresh insights into the sensitivity that our officers need to handle cases such as domestic violence and child abuse and the tactics they employ when confronting a potential suspect, negotiating with a hostage state, or rendering aid to an emotionally disturbed person. You also learn how to decode the chilling language of gang violence in today's popular music, how to spot signs of bullying in the social media, and what you can do as vigilant members of the public to support the department's counterterrorism efforts. 
through the fats training simulator, you felt the heart pounding uncertainty that comes when you must decide in an instant whether or not to discharge your weapon at another human being. You're also the first graduates to study human trafficking and the police department's efforts to stop this growing threat to some of the most vulnerable among us. These are all vital lessons in the life and death situations New York City police officers can encounter while on patrol. I hope that you can come away with an understanding of the many reasons their job is different from the way most people imagine it to be. Now, equipped with this training, you are now among the best informed members of the public on the challenges facing the department. Now, that knowledge brings a certain responsibility. We're counting on you to help us reach out and educate others about everything the department must do to keep this city safe. We're counting on you to bring insights from your training to the work that you do and to the conversations that you have in your daily lives. From this day forward, the department is proud to consider all of you our allies in the community. So thank you. Thank you for taking part in the Citizens Police Academy. Thank you for contributing to the well-being and security of our city. And congratulations on your graduation. Thank you.